This is a construction update from the City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center. Improvement Projects Green Line Extension As a reminder, the revised schedule for opening and closing bridges shows the Washington Street Bridge reopening in May, Broadway in July, and Medford Street in October. The School Street Bridge is expected to close after the Washington Street Bridge reopens. Project officials still expect the GLX to be completed on time, by the end of 2021. Within the rail right-of-way near the future Union Square Station, sheet pile driving is progressing behind target, and construction is underway on the new Green Line Vehicle Maintenance Facility building at 3rd Avenue. Near the future East Somerville Station, drainage installation and retaining wall construction continues, and demo of the second half of the Washington Street overpass is expected in the near future. Retaining wall and noise wall construction continues on both sides of the alignment near Gilman Square. And further west, crews are excavating soil behind the DPW building in preparation for shifting the commuter rail track between Sycamore Street and Cedar Street. For a detailed summary of upcoming work, take a look at the latest construction update from MassDOT. If you need assistance for a GLX construction related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO-459-4636 or email info at glxinfo.com. Somerville Avenue Utility and Streetscape Improvements the Somerville Avenue Rossmore Street intersection has been reopened and one way traffic on Rossmore Street restored. Mansfield Street abutters should continue to enter and exit via Washington Street. Contractors are installing additional drainage and a communications duct bank at the Somerville Avenue Mansfield Street intersection. Installation of the large box culvert drainage system is expected to reach the Somerville Avenue Medford Street intersection during the week of February 10th. Somerville High School Building Project A second shift of work has been scheduled for weekdays, from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., during the week of February 10th. The second shift will be a significantly smaller, quieter operation than the daytime shift, with interior work, deliveries, and general cleaning planned. Some deliveries will also arrive before 7 a.m., using a through route to avoid backup alarms. Citywide Manhole Rehabilitation National Water Main, the city's contractor, is rehabilitating manholes throughout Somerville through the spring of 2020. Lane closures, lane shifts, and parking restrictions may be implemented as needed. During the week of February 10th, crews plan to be on the following streets. Allen Street, Boston Street from Monroe Street to Washington Street, Cedar Street from Lexington Avenue to Alpine Street, Dickinson Street, Earl Street, Edgar Court, Franklin Street, Harrison Street, Prospect Street at Oak Street, Thurston Street, and Wheatland Street. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. National Grid. Pearl Street and Myrtle Street. This has been a construction update from the City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center.